Welcome to the Autosys training video. By the end of this video, you'll learn date and time conditions in Autosys and create a file trigger job. Date and time conditions support the automatic scheduling of job execution at a specific date and time. Autosys supports the following two methods to set the date conditions. Run days sets the days of a week for a job run. Calendar sets the dates for the job run in a calendar and assigns the calendar to a job. Using run days under date and time conditions, you can schedule a job to run on specified days of a week and time. For example, you can define a job to run every Tuesday and Friday at 7 a.m. To enhance your learning experience, we will walk through a scenario of the Hedmerl Bank and demonstrate the use of date and time conditions to define the file trigger job. Hedmerl Bank is a multinational bank with many branches across the globe. Hedmerl Bank needs to automate the processing of calculating interest on savings, loans, or credit card balances of customers and generating interest reports every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 6.30 p.m., and the bank requires a job to trigger based on the file's presence to ensure timely processing. You can use the file trigger job with date and time conditions to monitor a directory for the presence of interest report file at 6.30 p.m. on Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday and trigger when the file appears. This setup ensures that the job will only trigger when the file appears on the correct days and time, optimizing the bank's interest calculation processing workflow and reducing manual intervention. Let's enter our training environment and define a file trigger job based on the specified date and time conditions. For this demo, we assume that the environment settings for Autosys are already in place. Connect to the Autosys server running on a Linux operating system and open a shell prompt. Run the jill command in the shell prompt. The jill prompt opens. Now let's create the file trigger job by providing the relevant attributes and their values one by one. Provide a unique name for the job definition. Define the job type. Provide the target machine name for the machine attribute. Ensure the Autosys system agent is already installed on this machine and the machine is defined within Autosys. If not, the job definition will fail. Specify the file name with the full path that the job must watch. Specify create as the file activity type that the file trigger job must monitor. Enable the date and time conditions. Specify the days of the week and the start time at which the file trigger job must run. Type exit when you are done defining the job definition. JIL interactive mode ends. Autosys loads the job definition into the database after validation by the JIL interpreter. Autosys creates the file trigger job with the specified name if the attribute values are correct and returns an exit code of zero to indicate that the job creation was successful. Autosys also displays a message stating that the job will be scheduled to run at a specified date and time. Let's create a file trigger job with date and time conditions using Web UI. The purpose of this job is to check for the creation of a specific operating system file on the target machine using Web UI. Log in to Autosys Web UI and navigate to the Quick Edit interface to start the job creation. Click Create. The Create Object dialog opens with the list of job types. Select the Autosys server from the Server drop-down field. Select the File Trigger in the Monitoring section. Autosys displays Create File Trigger Job on the server page. In the Primary Details section, provide the file trigger job name, the target machine name, and a short description of the job. In the File Trigger tab of the Properties section, specify the file name with the full path that the job must watch. 
the file activity type as create. The time in minutes that the file must remain unchanged to satisfy the monitor condition. Click the schedule tab and enable the date and time conditions. Define the date and time conditions by selecting the run days option in the days section. The weekdays. The start time of the job in the time section. Click save job to save and successfully create the job definition. AutoSys displays a confirmation message when the job is successfully created. Also displays the message that the job is scheduled to start automatically. Thank you for watching the training video.